Welcome to my video tutorial, YouTube okay, So I'm Choma Musu, also known as Jimmy. Well, my videos are all about sewing and how you two can achieve great styles by yourself at home. So I'm going to show you today how you can achieve the waist ducts and how you can cut the front and the back bodies out. If you watched my previous video on how I drafted out the base bodies pattern, uh, you can follow up. This is a continuation from that video. If you've not seen the video yet, please go back to it. I'm going to start um, showing you how to achieve that. So if you want to see how I got my done, definitely keep watching. I showed you how to achieve the basic bodice pattern now I'm going to show you how to achieve your waist that and how to cut out the front and the back piece okay so if you've gotten this done now we're going to go to the waist that please the waist that measurements for most people averagely from the waist is about four inches now if you're a smaller person you can go for about three and a half inches and if you're a bigger person for five inches or you can divide um, your waist measurement into half to achieve your waist measurement so my waist measurement is four inches for my size four inches is okay for me then you add half an inch to it so you get about this so four point four and a half inches so four and a half inches um, is where I'm going to draw my waist that from now we're going to go in by half an inch on both sides. I prefer to use my tape. Okay, so you're going to go in by half an inch on both sides. So half an inch here, just mark that, and half an inch here, just mark that. Okay, so if you've done that, um, you're going to um, draw a straight line all the way to where the bust point measurement is down. So you draw a straight line like this. Now, if you've done that, we're going to come down by one inch from the post point measurement. So this is my one inch mark. Then from here, we'll connect this line to get like a diamond shape. Okay. So get like a diamond shape. We're going to connect it all the way down to the waist, um, to the hip um, measurement. If you're drafting or your your pattern down to your hip please come up from your hip by two inches if not you can just go all the way down to about three or four inches to form your diamond so i'm going to uh, come down this way and this is my diamond shape good so this is your dart this is your dart. This is going to go in like this. So this is your dart. If you have done this, so this is the diamond. This is your front dart. This is where you get your front dart. Now, if you're drafting the back dart, please do not come down from your bust line by one inch. Instead, you're going to add one inch above the back, um, the breast point measurement. You're going to add one inch and start your diamond from there. You're going to add one inch, not come down by one inch this time around. That's for your back that, but we are concentrating on the front that for now. Now, please, if you've done this for your that, please remember to add one inch. This is one inch measurement. So remember to add this one inch to this place. If not, your dress or your pattern is going to be too small, too tight for you. So because we've done that, we've added one inch here, then you connect it. From the bust point down this way and this way, the hip point down. Do not forget to add the one inch that you because this one inch is going to go into uh, sewing the seam. So um, the dart, this one inch is going to go into sewing the dart. So you please add it here. Now, if you've done that, that's basically how to achieve the waist dart. 
that is basically how to achieve the waist that so i'm going to show you how to cut out the front piece and the back piece please we're going to start from the back piece first the back pattern we're going to start from the back pattern first and please do not use the scissors you use to cut your fabric to cut your pattern you have to get a separate scissors for cutting your fabric and cutting your pattern so that your scissors can remain uh, sharp so i'm going to cut now <laughs> So we've cut out the shape. We're going to open up the fold so that um, this is your front and this is your back. So we're going to open up the fold. pattern this is the front and this is the back okay so back and front so with this pattern you can achieve any style you want by yourself at home and this is a custom fit for you for your measurements this is a custom fit for you so any style you want to achieve you can use this to achieve whatever style you want to achieve by yourself thank you for watching my video on how you too can achieve the waist that and how you can cut the front and the back bodies out if this video was helpful to you please give me a thumbs up you can send me a mail if you have any questions or you want to make any inquiry at myfashion at gmail.com until i come your way next time have a nice day bye bye